Hey guys, welcome back to Tested It. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shuttle launch. Got the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Here, head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here! What? Loading screen? What? And Garrus's ass is the first thing I see. What a great game. What a wonderful game. Also, wasn't the first shuttle the one with the kids? I'm just gonna say, like, why would you put the first shuttle with the kids? Unless you hate children. Which, then it would make sense. Because you don't even know if the plan's gonna work. Double time. Clear the shuttle bay first so we can bring the door up. Then get out to the landing pad. Lead on. Fuck. My health. Where are my allies? Uh, they were but past the locked door. All right, Garrus, carry me to victory. You know the thing. The thing about the allies, I haven't really talked a lot. I just said I liked how useful they were. You know, I just, I just honestly. I don't know if they can actually are capable of carrying you through the entire game, but they just, I, it's a refreshing for them to be useful and actually good at their job rather than just like worthless pieces of shit. And I've been told in the comments that they're actually not that good, but I'll say they're at least better than Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 2's AI yeah, was fucking total shit. And they also did no damage there. Jacob, come in. What's your status? One more shuttle of refugees to go, right? Affirmative. We got this. Just need to hold them a little longer. Because it, like, it's nice to basically be able to have like allies that complement your abilities. Like I'm long range, so I would like to bring along a squad that has long range abilities. And like Mass Effect has always been one of those games where, I mean, in Mass Effect One, it was more like I was an infiltrator, so I brought along in, like biotics along. To basically be, you know, more of like, uh, to compliment me. So in Mass Effect 1 it worked. In this game it did it. in number 2 it didn't, because Biox didn't work at all. There's actually nothing that they, the allies did. Understood. It just played a bunch of dialogue, so... Try to jump a little bit and cover a little bit. Alright. Uh. So it feels like it, it just, I don't know, it's the first Mass Effect game where I feel like we, we got an actual fucking squad going, boys. You know. Jacob, landing area cleared. Roger that. Oh, look, the assault rifle.
the skin of our teeth again, eh, Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. And now there's something you could do for me. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. I'm disappointed. Too bad. We could have used your experience. I have a feeling you'll do all right, Shepard. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Hackett here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them, and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. All right, that's it. Uh, one second, I'm gonna check the volume of my mic. All right, it looks good, I guess. Let's see, what else? Do we, what do we get that was new? Ex Cerberus. Scientists are worth fifty. She's worth as much as everyone else. And Jacob's worth fifty. I don't know. I I would disagree with that, but that's okay. It's a warm up say. Oh, yeah, so I looked up um, this. What this shit does? So this is the galaxy readiness. The percentage is raised by a multiplayer or the fucking, like, the mobile game and some other fucking bullshit. So that's what that does. It raises your percentage. Uh, so it's fucking bullshit. I figured you'd be more sympathetic to someone joining Cerberus. You've never been big on aliens. Yeah, I enlisted to kick ass just like everyone else. But I need a better reason than it has scales to go kill somebody. And if Cerberus is taking our dishonorable discharges and Cat 6 washouts, it's just one more reason they're not worth a damn. They seem to have a lot of those, don't they? The Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. You're turning into a regular Marine. Yes, well... I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. It feels good to bring someone out alive. Commander? Alright. My private's terminal doesn't have anything, alright. Why doesn't Garrus want to come up to the captain's quarters? I can show him the captain's log. You know what I mean. How's Jacob? He'll be okay. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Nice to see those Cerberus scientists come to their senses. After everything he's done, the elusive man can't pretend he's fighting for humanity. Anyone who isn't indoctrinated has to see that by now. Well, we got out early. Commander? What's on your mind, Edie? Liara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out, or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equaled three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. Hello, Shepard. So wait, are we moving? I guess the stars wouldn't really move, would they? If we were, uh, traveling. Yeah, just logically. Gotta employ that, that brain cells of ours. Just something I never thought about.
How dare this game make me think. What's it going on in the shower? Nothing. Never anything going on in the shower. Never a poker. Alright, so... Uh, fuck Chalk Boss, because... She's worthless. Just as worthless as Ashley, you decided to switch sides. Sounds like you got lucky down there, Commander. Civilians, children... Could have been very bad. I don't even want to think about it. But scooping those scientists right from under the elusive man's nose... That's gotta piss him off. <laughs> I'm glad that Jacob guy is gonna be alright. I hope we can trust a bunch of ex-Cerberus. Just saying. Commander? Alright. Play this game. What's the matter, Vicarian? You chicken? I don't even know what that is. Though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my CSEC days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought off a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had. Now, I tracked down this guy, Saren. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was with Shepard from the very beginning. That just means you're old. I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use him. Don't mind us. Just telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. Maybe later. There is new information on the private messages terminal. Ready for the next mission? Ready for the next mission. Here, what does the Kane Terminal have? Holy shit. Alright, nothing over here. Still think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Funny you mention those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. You know you have. I'm Archangel. Maybe I heard something about that too. Hmm. Then maybe you also heard... That for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega. Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. Had to kill them by myself. Two worm necks, that's almost impressive. Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly it. <laughs> The Alliance teach you to make up crap like that? Or did you figure it out all by yourself? It's a gift. I'm gonna see if I, if I come into the room again if I go say something new. Hi. Good to see you again, Shepard. You've been through a lot, Scars. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Fair enough. We've all got one of those. Just one, huh? Yeah. Not every story has a happy ending. Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus Vicarian. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. Yeah. Yeah, I knew this wise-ass Marine named Jimmy Vega. Sounds like a pole dancer on Omega. Always got on my nerves. But the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. And together they cured the genophage. And stopped Cerberus from taking over the Citadel. And finally kick the Reapers from this galaxy and into the next. With a little help from their friends. Nah, it was just us. But mostly me. James did literally nothing. He stayed on the ship. I guess they're done. Alright, Shockwest never has anything. There's only one person left. That's engineering. Jacob, we're both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, 
They oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. I trust you, Commander. When you say you no longer expedite Cerberus's goals. Otherwise. Perhaps later, Commander. You know, everyone was saying that this guy was cut out of the game and sold again as DLC. And I could see that. I mean, they voice dialogue so much like he's an actual crew member, so there's no way they worked on that after the game. You're not going to get all the voice actors in to interact with this guy. You know, doesn't make any sense. All right. To the galaxy map. Oh, yeah, that's that's Gleex. It's her favorite planet. Uh, okay, that's a simple one. Go straight to the mass relay. I piss off some reapers over here. Ah, suckers. What are you gonna do about it? Alright, we can probably do this one now. Eighty-three percent, man. Ah, yeah, seventy-five percent. Alright, I think it's the last one here. 750 units of fuel. Dude, literally that thing is just meant for fuel. I, I swear, we've only found like, maybe like two war assets. Maybe we're just bad at finding war assets. See, why is this one glowing? I don't understand what that means, because I've discovered everything there. So, we don't want to do quarians yet. So... Could do the last ones here. Alright, yeah. Let's, let's do these two and then we're gonna head back to Citadel, I guess. Because I am... I am perfectly content with, uh... Ah, oh, here you go. I am perfectly content with, uh, trying to finish off the side missions that I'd had. And then we're actually gonna do, uh, Arya stuff. Just something you can't exactly just decide to stop, so... It's not that much planet scanning to do. Weapon upgrade kit. The fuck does that even mean? Is this something I have to do with the aura? Probably is something I have to do with the aura. It's intel, so yeah. Can I just skip this? Cutscene is so good you have to see it every time. 100%. Uh, we gotta go to As Asgard. Fuck. The things I do for fucking collectibles. Ah, here you go. I remember, I couldn't get this before. Watch it be fuel. Yeah, it's fuel. <laughs> but now it's not on my map anymore. So now I don't have to get triggered. is fine with me. Alright, let's go to Citadel, because uh, we don't have to do much else. Yeah, but there's a lot of people to talk to there, actually. So we'll do that, and then we'll do some other people. Alright. Let's go to personal apartment. No, we're not doing that. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Because that might start something else, so we don't want to do that. Uh, let's go to embassies. I need to get to the embassies. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Oh, hey, look who's here. of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. 
a dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. Unless we win this war, it'll be the last time any of us see the Citadel. Soak this in while you can, Javik. Do not be so dismissive, Commander. Someday the things you have lost will be the things you would kill to have back. Such as? Order. The rule of law. From here, our empire dictated the course of the galaxy. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Protheum. Hey, Hannah. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among the living are low. Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. I'm just glad he's on our side. You haven't seen him get angry. Neither have you, Commander. Thank you, Commander. I've enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. You can either fight on my side. Or get crushed under my heel. All right. I don't know why there's a random hunter there. It was a story hunter. Oh my god. Are you kidding? My family disowned me when I Dude, I actually don't care about what their fucking conversations about. Every time they're baiting me in with like some bullshit to listen to. And I listened to it a couple times. Like, ah, oh, you have fucking Alzheimer's or something. I'm gonna look at the guns. Actually, we'll see what's on the terminals first, and also how close I am to snipe. What the fuck is this? I'm good oh. to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. I wish I could help. But too many lives are depending on me. I know. I'm not asking for your help. I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. Okay. Keep me posted. I will. 
I don't think I declined anything. I think it was just the dick thing to say or something. Location for Din Kornak. Whatever. Fuck, man. Why is this thing so... Actually, I'm getting pretty close to it. Soon. Black Widow will be soon. Alright, let's, let's break out the, the guns. Alright, let's see. What do we have here? Um, so, I don't think we have any new snipers really. We have the incisor rifle. So we can kind of just check that out. And we can also check out what the Tempest is like. And let's see. Uh, Phalanx is nothing great. Ah, uh, this one's new. But like, uh... Damage on it. Alright, let's do something like that. Fuck. I mean... It's pretty trash, honestly. I think this is the trash one in the other game, too. Alright, pistol's not terrible, but not great either. Scorpion. I guess we'll try that one out, too. Geth Plasma SMG, Blood Pack Punisher. Yeah, honestly, there is really no better SMG than the, than the fucking Hurricane. The Hurricane's just so good. I just, I can't do it. So for this one, maybe I'm gonna, maybe there's the accuracy one. Yeah, it's a scope though, so maybe not. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll just keep it like that. Instead of incisor, uh, that's the that's the exploding sniper, right? Oh, so this one has like a bit of a. Oh, that one zooms in as you uh, scope it in. Like I said, I, I I don't like slow snipers, though. Yeah, we already know that one. Fuck. Alright, that's definitely a no. I didn't think that was like a mine layer. Uh, what's shit? Eagle. Let's deal with that one. And we can, we can, we can equip the other harpoon gun to see if I was using it wrong. I think we already tested it, but we tested it, right? Yeah. As I said, I don't want to spend my time scoping things in. Alright, this is rapid fire. 38? It's like basically like an SMG biz <laughs> at that point. Uh, ah, that one's new too. Alright. Is there any other new snipers? I don't think there is. I think we're pretty much... We're a pro valiant family here. Until we get the Black Widow, that is. Okay, that's just whatever. It's not that good. Not that bad either. The Executioner one is much better. The only thing with the Executioner one is that you have to reload it after every single shot. It's the only reason I kind of don't like it. I don't, I don't know why I would use that, actually, necessarily. I don't really know what I want from pistol. I, I kind of wanted, like, a shotgun one, uh, but, you know, none of these are any good. Is there any, like, good shotguns that are, like, a bit of time here? What did I think about the glade throw when I originally used it? Oh, that can, that can charge up. Okay, so that's a no, because I don't really like things that charge up. Uh, let's deal with this one. This one has a lot of ac accuracy, though. It's actually pretty good, all things considered. Like I said, I kind of want a sawed-off shotgun, or something that's maybe a little bit different and interesting. I'm surprised I don't have any unlimited ammo uh, weapons here, you know. Crusader. Uh, I've used that one before. It's a slugs. Like I said, it, it that takes up my the same slot as my other shit, so... I uh, see this one. This one seems kind of sawed-offy. 
This one has a huge weight rating. One shot. Alright. I mean, that's pretty sawed off, but the weight is ridiculous. I, I, I've kind of gotten spoiled by just being able to use my uh, abilities whenever I want. <laughs> Alright, that's definitely a no. <laughs> Uh, Venom Shotgun. Okay, that's kind of cool, actually. What happens if I just click it? Nothing. I mean, it has a lot of splash damage. A little bit weird, though. The N7 Piranha. Is that like an auto shotgun? Okay, that's really bad. Uh, let's see. The AT-12 Raider. Ah, uh, the thing, the thing about me, though, with my load, I've kind of appreciated the simplicity of what I have. Like, I have more than a sniper, I think, right? I, I, I just, I, I don't really need a sh like a like shotguns like this. I'm just surprised that I haven't found one that is like an actual sawed off. You know, just none of them really appeal to me. I mean, we can have an assault rifle if we want to. You know, so the cutscene would make more sense. I wonder, what, I wonder what the, how the thing is that uh, they keep using. It's not at the... Uh... Ah, it's like a battle rifle. Its accuracy is just dog shit, though. I mean, what, what if I put on an accuracy mod? There you go. So let's, say, let's say we did this. It's so bad, actually. Like, the kick is just too much. Like, how could you do anything with that? Coming from the guy who uses the hurricane. Like, I know what I'm talking about. Valkyrie. Valkyrie prepared. See, this one's not bad. But it fills the same role as my sniper right now. Revenant. And honestly, it's like, do you want to have the weight for this? I would say the, the Vindicator isn't bad. What is the point of that? Am I firing chainsaws? Alright, that is a weird gun. Particle, rifle, let's see how that goes. Oh, this one actually seems to have unlimited ammo. <laughs> I'm charging my laser. <laughs> Alright, that's kind of cool actually. What happens if I reload it? Oh, it just come, kind of comes back on its own. Alright, that is one of the cooler guns. Okay, so they actually did come up with something. I was just complaining about that. Anti-synthetic rifle. Alright, that's, uh, mediocre. Watch one of these guns that I'm fucking shit-talking be, like, the best thing in the world. This one's got really nice accuracy, too. This one's actually really good. If you're into assault rifles, I'd suggest that. And here's a Typhoon. This is the Garrus weapon. Oh god. That's why it has so much damage. But he fires it perfectly straight. Alright, things are making more sense now. And the Striker assault rifle. Uh, that thing looks fucking baller as fuck. Feels more like a shotgun, honestly. Oh, it's like a... That's weird. Okay. So, I've kind of just decided... Um, we're maintaining this loadout. This is actually, what, in my opinion, the superior loadout, at least for the, my playstyle. Because we get 40 shots with this shit, and then we get like a bunch for this thing, too. Like, I have no qualms about this. We may change some things around when the Black Widow comes in. Maybe that pistol will come into play, who knows. Uh, but I haven't quite decided on that, because we haven't reached that point yet, so. That will be kind of interesting, so. Uh. I don't know, I, I tried them. I tried them, what can I say? Uh, the, the sound, they're, they're, they're hit and miss. But yeah, I can see why the Typhoon is broken. It's because they, they... Ironically, it's because they poorly programmed it. Oh, fuck, seriously? Ah, uh, sure, we'll do one more. I know we're way over time, but yeah, fuck it. Shepard, I wasn't sure you'd deliberately seek me out. Why not? 
Do you remember when I first joined you, to stop the Collectors? I swore an oath to hunt you down if I were forced to do anything dishonorable. And were you? Considering the evil we faced, your acts were... acceptable, within the dictates of the Code. I simply request that you ask yourself if they'll remain so. You'd really try to kill me if I stepped over your line? It would be my obligation, once the Reapers were defeated. And only if I could verify you'd done something to violate the Code. If they help end this war, I'll make whatever decisions I have to. You helped me a great deal in the Monastery, Shepard. This is merely advice. But I do hope you consider it. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But, following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. Is that how you see it, too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. Will Flair be alright in the Monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.